This video goes over what RTC refers to as the AP22 and M2M cheat sheet. A digital version of this cheat sheet can be downloaded and printed from our website. We recommend going through this process when you're installing an AP22 time switch and are using a cell modem with 3G data connection. Before you begin, make sure to note the time switch address information, which is the master group, group, and location numbers assigned to this time switch and this location. You can find this information on RTC Connect. During this process, you'll be using the keypad on the AP22 time switch. You might need to cut the zip tie or remove the modem from the silver bracket to access the keypad. Also, make sure that the AP22 and cell modem are both connected to power and able to turn on. You should see a steady power light illuminated on the cell modem, and the LS light on the modem should also be blinking. The first step of this process is inputting the time switch address, which you can do by pressing 2, 2, star from the AP22 home screen. This screen displays the location address information. Verify that the information on the screen is correct. If it's correct, you can press star or enter three times to return to the main screen. If the information is missing or incorrect, enter the correct master group, group, and location numbers for this location by keying in the numbers on the number pad and pressing star to advance the cursor to the next spot. Use the zero before single digit numbers. For example, Master Group 2, Group 3, Location 1 would be entered as 0, 2, star, 0, 3, star, 0, 1, star. The final star should take you back to the home screen. The second step is inputting latitude and longitude. You can access the screen to do this by pressing 4, 1, star from the home screen. Use a smartphone or a computer to determine the GPS coordinates of the location you're installing the AP22 in digital format, which is a decimal format. On this AP22 time screen, input the latitude and longitude by pressing a number, followed by the star key to move on to the next digit on the screen. The longitude will likely begin with a leading zero, if it's only a two-digit longitude number. You can also ignore the negative sign for longitude. After inputting the last number on the longitude line, pressing star will take you back to the home screen. The third step in the process is communication verification. You can access this screen by pressing 3, 9, star from the home screen. Once again, make sure that the power light on the modem is steady and that the LS light is blinking. It may take a few minutes after powering on for both to do so. After the LS light starts blinking, the 3-9 command screen will scroll the IMSI and IMEI numbers of the modem. Then the screen will scroll to a CREG or CREG status. It should read registered OK or roaming. If the IMSI or IMEI numbers are missing, or if your CREG status reads anything other than registered OK or roaming, you'll need to contact RTC for help. If everything is OK, pressing pound will return to the home screen. The next step is verifying modem signal strength. You can do so by pressing 3, 8, star from the home screen. This screen will display the signal strength of the modem. The number is in dB or decibel and ranges from negative 101 to negative 40, with negative 40 being stronger than negative 101. Ideally, it should read negative 95 or better, which would be closer to negative 40. If it doesn't, please contact RTC because an external antenna may be required. Press pound to return to the home screen. The next step is manually turning on the flashers. You can do so from the home screen by pressing 1 star and then 1 star again. This will turn on the relay and the lamp should flash. Next, we'll press D, A, 
star, and then star again. This screen will revert back to the home screen. Then scroll through a 3G connection active screen, a transmitting screen, back to the home screen, and then to an SMS TX RX combo in progress screen before returning to the home screen. This command is manually connecting to the server to reprogram the AP22 with the latest code. Depending on your installation, this may take a little bit of time, but just be patient. The final step is turning off the flashers, which you can do from the home screen by pressing 1 star and then 1 star again. This will turn the relay off and the lamp should stop flashing. After you've done so, the process is complete. You can return the modem to the mount on the front of the time switch and begin using your AP22 and cell modem as you wish.